Okay, so I want to show you how to do a stitch from Knit Your Own Dog. It's this great book. I knit the border collie from it that looks like grommet. Um, the stitch I'm talking about in the stitch dictionary in the back is P-U-L-T. So I'll make sure you see that there. It says, pick up loop below next stitch on left needle by inserting tip of right needle from back of warp through the loop. This stops a hole from forming when turning work. Then turn, leaving remaining um, number of stated stitches on the left needle unworked. Okay, so essentially this is just a way to do short row shaping. Um, it's a little different than other ways. I want to show you the end result first so you can see what we're going for. You can see that we have got 16 stitches here, some short row shaping in the middle. That's what it looks like at the e one end. That's what it looks like at the other end. You can see it's a pretty good job of not showing any holes throughout. Okay, so you can see here I have a swatch with 16 stitches, 15 that I've already knit, and one left over here. So this is that first row where we're doing a P-U-L-T. So I'm going to pick up the loop below that stitch with my right needle, leave it on the right needle while I turn the work. So on this side, you can see I've got the leftover loop, the picked up loop, and then the 15 stitches that I've already done. So leftover loop stays behind. We're going to purl two together, just like this. And uh, according to the designer, this will help close the row. This is a different way of doing short rows. So once again, all the way across this way. Okay. At this end, we stop one short. We've got the left behind loop, the purl together loop. We've purled a bunch. We're at the last stitch. I'm going to take that loop, pick it up from back to front, leave it on the right hand needle, leave one loop left over there. Okay, leftover loop, picked up loop, we're going to knit that together with the first stitch. Knit two together, and then across until we're, in fact, two, sh two stitches short of the end. This okay, time. so here we are. We've got the leftover loop, the knit two together, the knit to the two before the end, and now we have to pick one of these two loops to sort of pull it all together. I'm going to take the bottom one because I think the top one's already stressed out a little bit. So pick up that loop. Turn everything around. We've got the two leftover loops. We've got the picked up loop and then the rest of our stitches. So purl two together. Purl to the last we've two stitches. We purled across. We're purled to the last two stitches. You can see this one was knit together with the one from before. I'm going to take the not stretched one to put on my needle right there. Turn it all around. So we've got two leftover stitches, the extra loop that we knit two together with the first stitch, and then knit across. Okay, now you can see we've knit across to the last three stitches. So we have the first leftover one, the second leftover one that's wrapped, the third one that we're going to leave behind and wrapped. We just need to pick up that stitch right there, the one that hasn't been stretched already, turn it around, purl two together. And purl across. Okay, here we are, purl to the last three stitches. Same scenario that we had before. We have the original left behind, the second left behind, the third one that we're about to leave behind. Um, I'm going to take the stitch that is not all stretched out. It's going to be this one. Enter from front back to front, leave it on that right needle, and turn it around. Okay, so now I'm going to pretend we've done as much shaping as we want to do, and I'm going to purl, or rather knit, um, all the way back across until we get to, and we're going to include the first stitch. So, uh, there's my three left behind, the extra loop that I knit two together, and I'm going to knit it all the way across until I get to the first left behind stitch. So you can see I have first left behind, second left behind, third left behind. This is the first wrapped stitch. I'm going to knit that. And then we're going to have to wrap again, right, so that we close the hole again. So again, this one, I'm going to take that one right there, turn it, purl two together. Okay. So 
So I'm at the first wrapped stitch right there. You can see that it's wrapped. I'm going to purl it and then I'm going to do the turn with this one. So once again from back to front, turn it around and go across. So knit two together, purl to the first wrapped stitch that I come to. So there should be, when I get to that point, there should be three stitches left on the needle. There you go. So three stitches left, I knit one of them, pick up that wrap, turn, and work back again. Purl two together, purl to the last three, and then two at the end. So I'm going to purl that one. This is the one I'm going to pick up and wrap. Turn it around. This time we're purling to the last one. We're going to knit that one. And then pick up that daughter stitch again from back to front. Getting ready to purl it together on our last pass. Or actually, I guess it's the mother stitch. Purl to the last two. Purl the first one. Pick up that mommy stitch again one last time. Turn it around. One leftover stitch. Knit two together. This time we're going to knit all the way to the end. And then we'll come back and purl all the way to the end. Purling all the way to the end. One, two, and finally we purl that stitch that's been left behind this whole time. Turn it around, or rather knitting all the way to the end. Now we're going to come back, purl all the way back. Just to show you what it looks like, here we go, purling all the way back. So last row, you can see that stitch that we left behind so many rows ago. We're going to purl it finally. And then we have the completed piece. So what's interesting about this is how you can see it's really caught the holes on both sides. Now it's not perfect by any stretch of the imagination. I'd be curious to try, you know, other short row shaping. But as written, that's what the P-U-L-T is for on the Knit Your Own Dogs.